CompTIA ITF Plus, FC 0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 101 through 105. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 101. A business needs multiple analytical reports combining insights from sales, inventory, marketing, and compensation datasets. What is the most suitable storage solution for this data? The answer is C. Database. A database is the optimal solution for storing diverse sets of data, like those from sales, inventory, marketing, and compensation, because it allows for efficient organization, retrieval, and management of data. Databases can handle large volumes of structured data, enabling complex querying, sorting, and reporting. Question 102. A computer user is in the process of downloading software from the internet and observes that the installation file concludes with x86.exe. What does x86 signify in the context of this software installation file? The answer is B. x86 operates on 32-bit and 64-bit CPU architectures. The term x86 in the file name x86.exe indicates that the software is designed to run on both 32-bit and 64-bit CPU architectures. The x86 architecture originated with 32-bit processors and is now compatible with the 64-bit systems commonly in use today. Question 103. The SMTP protocol is most likely to be used by which of the following software types? The answer is D. Email software. The SMTP protocol, or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, is specifically designed for the sending of emails. SMTP handles the process of sending messages from your email client software to the recipient's email server. SMTP contains a set of rules that standardize the transmission of emails across the internet, ensuring that messages are properly routed from sender to recipient. Without SMTP, the email clients wouldn't know how to send messages, nor would servers know how to handle incoming mail, making SMTP integral to the function of email software. Question 104. Which configuration setting can help mitigate the risk of malware infections originating from websites during internet browsing? The answer is D. Prompt before download start. Setting up a requirement for user approval before starting any downloads greatly strengthens security while browsing the internet. This strategy combats hidden malware attacks by allowing users to decide whether to proceed with or cancel downloads, blocking deceptive malicious files from infiltrating the system. Question 105. What type of information would a company typically require employees to manage in a sensitive manner? The answer is A. Customer date of birth. Customer date of birth is considered sensitive information because it's personally identifiable information that could be used in identity theft or other fraudulent activities. Companies mandate that employees handle such data with extra caution to protect customer privacy and comply with data protection laws. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.